Hi, I am Jasmine Katadakarn, and I hesitate to say like a title of what I am because I do so many things. So I'm just gonna go with creative leader. I have over 20, I have nearly 20 years experience as a lighting artist on feature animated films and VFX and commercial work as well. And I also run and founded an online school called the Academy of Animated Art, where we focus on how to um, break into the industry, specifically within lighting. I am also a certified coach. I'm a certified scrum master. And I'm also a leader and manager for a uh, top 100, Fortune 100 company as well. I'm excited to be here. I'm based in New York City. I don't have that story where, you know, I um, saw a movie as a young kid and I knew it instantly. And this might be familiar to some people too. As, as a child, I was very drawn to the art world, creativity, drawing, all the fine arts. But at the same time, I was also kind of veered away from it, being told that, I can't focus on that. I need to be more practical. I need to be a doctor or a lawyer or something like that. And as a child, I didn't know any better, right? I was like, okay, that's my path and led me to going to college. And I actually majored in economics. And the reason why I majored in economics was um, because I started off pre-med because I was supposed to be a doctor. And after a year of pre-med, I'm like, I, can't, I don't want to do this. And while I would have loved to jump in and go into fine arts at that point I still was like that voice in my head was like no I gotta be practical with this you know so the next practical thing was econ and finance so that's what I did I did minor in art history and I will say during this whole time I was taking like art on the side but as a hobby right um, because I just loved it so much. It wasn't until I graduated from college and I was going to all these finance interviews and they asked me, why do you want to be in finance? And I still remember sitting there, my, like in my inner head was like, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. And I gave like my BS answer. And finally, it took me until I was 21. I walked out of that interview. I didn't go to another interview. I was like, I'm going to go the creative path. And I created um, a 2D portfolio and I still don't know how I did it, but I got a job as a junior package designer. I, was, I remember being so excited, like finally pursuing what I personally wanted to do. When I was learning the 2D stuff, my instructor was actually a 3D person. I didn't know that. And I was picking it up so quickly and he was just like, you know, you might be interested in this over here check it out. And he showed me like this 3D software. I'd never seen 3D before. And I was like, wow, what is this? This is amazing. And it stuck with me. So after a year of doing 2D package design, I was like, okay, I think I want to dive more into the 3D. And I did end up going back to grad school for it. And I got my master's. And then, then I started working in VFX at that point. And then eventually feature animation and that's how I got <laughs> into the industry. I feel like our paths are often never like direct. So many things. I'm a lighting artist, so I love beautiful visuals, the lighting, the look development. But what really inspires me today is actually the people. Like people inspire me. Yes, they could do amazing work, but it's when you hear and you talk to people, especially in the industry, and you hear their stories, they're so multifaceted. Ah, well, I always told my younger self to not waste so much time doing what other people said. I mean, seriously, trust what you're feeling. And I know it's easier said than done, especially when you're younger, but trust in yourself and be your own best advocate because no one's going to advocate for yourself or know yourself as much as you do. So even if you're hearing all these things, you know, in the background or like directly being told to you what you should be doing, trust yourself and then advocate for yourself. Be confident, be confident in what you want to do and go for it. You know, it's not, it's never a straight road, often not an easy road, right? But if you're true to yourself, if you're aligned, that's the biggest thing I'll also say, like if you're aligned with whatever you're doing. Um, and when I say aligned, like you believe in it, you want to be in it. It's not because you're doing it because someone else is telling you to, or you think you should be doing it. I think that is 
the biggest motivator, but also what will create the biggest impact too in whatever you're doing.